Hello, my name is Pedro Carrasco and I'm a PhD student of the University of Valencia. I'm going to explain you a little introduction and few of the results that we uh, find with our first paper. This paper is about the warships energy efficiency and in this paper we are going to characterize the problem. We know that the climate change confirmation is assumed by all the Western nations with the Kyoto Protocol in 1998. Due to this, the European Union with the Directive 27, uh, 2013, obliged to all the members to implement policies focuses on the energy efficiency in order to enhance the energy efficiency over three pillars. The three pillars are the energy savings and expense, the use of renewable energies and of course the sustainability and the environmental care. These policies are in tandem for all the organizations, public and private, and of course for the non-governmental organizations too. The ships and the world ships has a long history. Sixty thousands years ago, the man started to build ships. And at first, the ships were a simple group of timbers joined by ropes. With the technology, the man produced changes in the ships. And 3,000 years ago, the man started to use the sails in order to move the ships. Until the 18th century, the ships were moved by sails, and the wind was already used, and this was a renewable energy. But it ended the 18th century with the Industrial Revolution, the man started to use the steam power and of course to produce the power to produce the steam the man need coal oil and gas here start the problem with non renewable energies till now the warships nowadays use the same forms of energy like we use in the 18th century. Due to this, we are looking with this paper the characterization of the problem in order to reduce these consumptions. First of all, we are going to define what is a warship. And it has a simple definition. The warship is basically two things, a platform and a combat system. The platform is basically the structure, the hull, and the combat system is the payload. This combat system is the thing that we use for the war. And for this combat system, the rest of the armed system on the ships work. Both of these parts are break down in other systems and subsystems. And as a result, we know 
the systems, their conception, and what are the conditions that these systems work on board the ship. Basically, the embarked system on warships are six. First of all is the propulsion, the rotary plant, and the command and surveillance. Under the group is formed by the auxiliary systems of fitting and furnishing, and of course the armament. All these systems work in five modes of operation and in two weather conditions. These parameters are designing parameters. These five modes of operation and these two weather conditions produce 10 conduction consumption conditions. And in these 10 consumption conditions work an amount of 1,600 of consumers, which have a power consumption of 9,015 kilowatts. Analyzing these ten conditions, we detect that the auxiliary system, which is one of the six families, have a consumption of the 59%, close to 60% of the amount of energy that consume the ship. Analyzing the auxiliary systems, we find all the result that is the system that have the main power consumption. The system is the HPC, which is the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system. To know the paper chance of uh, the different variables, we use the presence correlation in order to know a linear correlations between a family of variables. These variables are inner variables and external variables. The external variables used was the humidity, the air and sea water temperatures, and the inner conditions were the general room's temperatures. Using the pressure correlation with the system consumption and the condition, we detect the relations with all these variables. Thank you for your interest and if you need more information, please send me an email to this address. Thank you very much.